Welcome to Two Minute Physics on the topic of heat. Today we will be covering specific heat capacity. As the name with heat capacity suggests, it must somehow talk about the amount of heat something can take in. Take a look at one example in our kitchen. We want to take both oil and water from a 25 degrees Celsius room temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. A lot of you might think that water actually heats up faster than oil because you can see the water boil after a while, but oil, nah. Surprisingly, if you use a thermometer, we can observe that oil actually heats up much faster than water. Yes, water is slow to heat up. It means it needs more heat to rise in temperature, which also means it has a higher specific heat capacity than oil. It can take in more heat before it gets heat up. Well, these values vary with a lot of factors, such as ions present in water, and also different types of oil actually has different specific heat capacity. Specific heat capacity is given the symbol of C. It is actually the amount of heat required Q to change temperature of theta by 1 degree Celsius or Kelvin for 1 kilogram mass of material. It is given the unit joule per kilogram per degree Celsius interchangeably used with per Kelvin. Let's move into a little bit of calculation now. How much energy is required to heat up water and oil of 2 kilograms from 25 to 50 degrees Celsius? Step 1. Reshuffle the formula. Step 2. Replace with respective value of specific heat capacity, mass, and temperature difference. Please note, it's the change in temperature, temperature difference for theta. We have just shown that water actually takes up more heat for the same temperature change as compared to oil. Thank you for watching 2 Minutes Physics. Share, like, and smash the badge to subscribe if you want more videos like this. See you around.